All right, so I'm going to continue the lesson with uh, our little 60 second music video. So I have some B roll and I have some audio over here. So let's just play around with transitions. So let's get in a spot. Let's move this down here. And now we're going from sunrise to kaleidoscope thingy and to some blurry street scene. So let's go down here to video transitions. And uh, I just want you to play around with them and try a flip over. So what I did is I clicked on it and I dragged it over and put it where the two clips meet. And you can see there's a little bump there. All right, see that cube spin? This panel down here can stretch out your timeline so it's still one minute long. But if you want to do some very fine editing, you can shrink that. And now we're zooming in. So now between here and here, there's just a couple of seconds instead of a, you know, instead of 30 seconds. So we can click on that transition and over here in our effects controls, we click the effects controls. We could um, adjust whether it starts we can center it at the cut. It'll look like that. Image A flips over a selected color to reveal image B. Duration is one second. So let's make it two seconds. Let's make it go really slow. So you saw I just stretch that out. So you can adjust that. So that's a transition, and you can add them just about anywhere. If um, sometimes you don't want a transition, sometimes you just want it to be to have a straight cut. Just this bridge, bam, you're in a different city, bam. Just goes from one frame is one clip, the next frame is another clip. From sequence, you can apply default transition. Okay, and that will apply a sound transition and a video transition, and you can decide what your defaults are, and they're usually very plain fade in, fade out transitions, and they look very nice, and uh, they're very useful for all kinds of video editing needs. There, it's a softer way than that hard cut right there. You can ease into the next one. So two different kinds of transitions and no transition right here. We're going to next go to type. So in the latest, in the 2017 version, Premiere that we're working on. What I did is I went to the graphics menu, type tool, clicked over here, and just typed something. Selected it all, and on the right hand side, it basically is a, it's a word processor. So you can make your type huge. You can shrink it. You can go to this selection tool here, move it up. You can change the font on it.
we can center it. 